the women of Revelation. Number one, the woman clothed with the sun. The book of Revelation is the final part of the Bible. It's full of symbols, striking images, and deep secrets, showing us how good wins over evil in the end. One of its key themes is how women are shown in the story. This invites us to look closely at their roles and what they symbolize in this complicated story. The woman in the book of Revelation, described in Revelation 12 verses 1 to 6, is a fascinating and symbolic figure in the Bible. Her description, symbolism, interpretations, and role in the story. In Revelation 12 verses 1 to 2, the description of the woman is very clear and detailed. And a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pains and the agony of giving birth. This part is unique and unusual. The woman is described as wearing the sun like a dress and standing on the moon, which makes her seem like she's from the sky or has godlike qualities. This symbolizes the light of God's truth, the foundations of faith, moon under her feet, and the authority of God's chosen people, crown of stars, which can also be interpreted as the 12 groups that make up Israel or Jesus' 12 followers. Because John plainly said this is a great sign, we don't foresee this woman to appear literally on the earth. God will use this sign to communicate something to John and to us. The symbolism of this woman in Revelation is multi-layered and has been interpreted in various ways over the centuries. Some common interpretations include Israel. Many scholars see the woman as a symbol of Israel, with the twelve stars representing the twelve tribes. This interpretation aligns with the Old Testament imagery, where Israel is often depicted as a woman in labor. Mary the church. Another interpretation sees the woman as a symbol of the church, enduring suffering and persecution while awaiting the ultimate victory over evil. A heavenly being. Some people think the woman represents more than just a single person or group. They see her as a symbol of the big fight between good and evil in the universe. Regardless of the interpretation, this woman plays a very important role. She is right in the middle of a big battle between good and evil. Her main action is giving birth to a boy, who many people think represents Jesus Christ. This male child is meant to become a great leader. There's a dragon, which is another name for Satan, who tries to hurt the boy but doesn't succeed. The male child is then taken up to be with God showing Jesus going up to heaven. The interpretation of what the child represents is drawn from the depiction of the child who is to rule all the nations with an iron scepter, according to Psalms 2 verse 9, which is commonly applied to Christ. The imagery of being snatched up to God and his throne is seen as a reference to Christ's ascension to heaven. After this, the woman escapes to a safe place in the wilderness where God looks after her. Her role signifies the ongoing struggle between the forces of God and the forces of Satan, with the faithful being persecuted but ultimately protected and vindicated by God. The woman clothed with the sun in Revelation 12 is a powerful symbol, embodying themes of suffering, perseverance, and divine protection. The child in this scripture is a symbol of hope, divine intervention, and the fulfillment of God's plan. His role extends beyond the literal narrative, offering a deeper symbolic meaning about the triumph of good, the power of salvation, and the ultimate power of God in the end times. Next, a fearful mighty dragon appears. Revelation 12 verse 3. Then another sign of warning was seen in heaven. Behold, a great fiery red dragon, Satan, 
with seven heads and ten horns, and on his heads were seven royal crowns, diadems. Once again, we are reminded that the creature mentioned in the text is a symbol. It wasn't actually a great fiery red dragon, but rather a representation of the person's nature and character. The description of the dragon symbolically suggests his fierce power and murderous nature, a picture of the fullness of evil in all its hideous strength. This woman is very different from the other woman in Revelation. We note, a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. This clearly refers to Jesus Christ, the Messiah, who rules the world with an iron rod. The endeavor to devour her child was initially fulfilled by Herod's attempts to kill Jesus as a child. It was also fulfilled during the entirety of Jesus' life when Satan attacked him. The Child Jesus' ministry is described by its earthly beginning and end. She bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to God and his throne. It is clear that the figure depicted in the passage is Jesus. Therefore, the woman mentioned in Revelation 12 verse 1 cannot symbolize the church, as Jesus is the one who gives birth to the church, not the other way around. Hence, the woman must represent either Mary or Israel, the only two entities who could have given birth to Jesus. Further analysis of Revelation 12 reveals that this woman is indeed Israel and not Mary. Number 2. The Woman of Babylon The woman called Babylon the Great in the Bible is described as wearing purple and red clothes and being covered in gold, jewels, and pearls. She is holding a gold cup filled with all forms of atrocities and the filthiness of her fornication. This description makes us think of someone wealthy and lives in luxury, but who also does things that are morally wrong. This figure symbolizes a corrupt system or entity that leads people away from God. She's often interpreted as representing false religion, worldly power, or moral decay. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city, which reigneth over the kings of the earth. Revelation 17 verse 18. In comparison to the woman clothed with the sun in Revelation 12, there is a sharp contrast to the woman of Babylon. This figure symbolizes the corrupt world systems opposed to God's kingdom. She is shown as riding on a beast, which shows she is connected with the forces that cause destruction. She serves as a warning against seduction by worldly power and corruption, urging believers to stay true to their faith. The end of the mysterious woman of Babylon is told in Revelation 17 verse 16. It says that the ten horns on the beast will turn against her, leave her with nothing, hurt her, and destroy her with fire. This is a way of showing that all the bad and corrupt things she stands for will be destroyed in the end. It also means that the bad leaders and the wrong things they do in the world will eventually cause their own downfall. The Whore of Babylon is a metaphor for the seductive allure of sin and the temporary nature of earthly power and riches. Her fate serves as a warning about the eventual downfall of systems and entities that oppose God's ways. It teaches that what is morally corrupt and against God's principles will not endure. This passage, like many in Revelation, uses symbolic language to convey spiritual truths and its interpretation can vary among scholars and religious traditions. The key takeaway is the contrast between what is righteous and unrighteous and the ultimate triumph of good over evil. Number 3. The Bride of Christ The Bride of Christ is a profound and symbolic concept in the Bible, mostly talked about in the book of Revelation. It's like a picture that shows the church as a bride getting ready for her groom, Jesus Christ. 
This means everyone who believes in Jesus is part of this bride, all together getting ready for Jesus. In Revelation 19 verses 7 to 9, the Bible says, Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Fine linen, bright and clean, was given her to wear. Fine linen stands for the righteous acts of God's holy people. Then the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. In these Bible verses, it's like the church is getting ready for a very special event. The church is described as being cleaned and made holy, all set to join together with Jesus. The fine bright clothes they talk about are like a picture of how good and right the actions of the church's people are. Revelation 21 verses 2 and 9 further illustrates this concept where John describes a vision of the New Jerusalem, saying, I saw the holy city, the New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband, and, come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. Here, the New Jerusalem is also portrayed as a bride signifying the final and complete union of the church with Christ in a new, perfect, and eternal dwelling. The marriage supper of the Lamb is like a big special dinner party that stands for the happy time when Jesus Christ comes back and joins together with the church. It's like a big celebration that shows God's promises coming true the end of all the hard times on earth, and the start of a forever happy life with Jesus. The Bride of Christ concept emphasizes the intimate and profound relationship between Jesus and his followers. It conveys the idea of purity, commitment, and readiness for Jesus' return. The Marriage Supper symbolizes the ultimate celebration of this divine union, a moment of great joy and triumph for believers who have remained faithful. This imagery encourages Christians to live righteously in anticipation of being part of this glorious event. At the heart of Revelation are female figures, the woman clothed with the sun and Babylon the Great. The woman clothed with the sun introduced in Revelation 12 verse 1. Another noteworthy mention is the Bride of Christ, representing the collective body of believers awaiting the return of Jesus. Through these depictions, Revelation invites us to reflect on the broader themes of redemption, judgment, and the ultimate fate of humanity. The women of Revelation are not just characters in a story. These symbols are filled with important meanings each having a key part in the final story told in the Bible. When we explore their stories, we find many levels of meaning that relate to our own spiritual path and the decisions we make in a world that is often full of difficult moral choices. Understanding symbolic representation, especially in the context of biblical texts like Revelation, is crucial for understanding the deeper meanings and messages in these ancient scriptures. Symbols are not just decorative elements, they are keys to unlocking profound spiritual and moral truths. These women of Revelation are more than just symbols or stories, they show us that the promises and predictions in the Bible will really happen they help us remember that what God has promised will definitely take place. They offer insights into the nature of good and evil, the role and resilience of the church, and the importance of remaining faithful amidst worldly challenges. Understanding these symbols is essential for a deeper comprehension of the biblical narrative and its relevance to both historical and contemporary contexts. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today to seek your wisdom and guidance as we reflect on the lives of the women in the book of Revelation. These figures, each unique in their strength and faith, remind us of your unwavering presence even in times of trial and uncertainty. Please help those around us who are bravely dealing with tough times 
just like the strong woman clothed with the sun. Let them feel your love and support as they navigate through life's difficult moments. Give them the strength to keep believing strongly in their faith, even when things get really hard, just like those women did in the Bible. In moments of doubt or fear, remind us of the steadfast love and power that these biblical women displayed. May their stories inspire us to persevere with hope and trust in your divine plan. Lord, provide comfort to those who feel overwhelmed. Let the example in this video be a source of light in our lives, guiding us towards your grace and wisdom. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.